Hi everyone, it's Sharon again, aka Wabaraka. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do not forget to hit that subscribe button and uh, support me. I will be posting new videos, new motivational videos, and as well, watch out for my new single. It is going to be released soon. I love you all. Um, today I'm back on Real Talks and uh, a lot of people have asked me, why is it you talk so much about mm, toxic relationships, broken marriages, what is going on? And uh, I do this because I want to encourage somebody out there. This is the sad reality of what is happening out in the world. And a lot of people are facing these things silently, not knowing where to turn to or who to talk to you see when you get married everybody's desire is to have a happy marriage till death do you part but the sad reality is that is not always the case and uh, the glamour we see out there is all the honky donkey things but when it comes to the sad part not a lot of people like talking about it why because there is a lot of stigma that surrounds it and there's a, a lot of judgment that comes from the society. We sadly live in a society that is not very understanding, very judgmental. And they want to point fingers and accusations upon people who find themselves in a situation like that. I do not intend to judge anybody. And my aim is to hold your hand and to let you know that you are not alone. If you find yourself in a situation like that, just know that above everything, God loves you. He is not a respecter of personalities and God loves us all equally. It is not the intention of God that any one of us should go through a lot of grief in our own marriages, in our own relationships. And um, if you find yourself i'm just going to give you a few tips if you find yourself in a in a situation and that is not healthy number one is to accept it don't be in denial the reason why a lot of people are finding themselves in a lot of problems is because they live a, a life of denial the quicker you accept it is happening the better you're going the quicker you're going to find some healing for yourself um once you accept, then you need to take action. You need to move out. You need to give yourself break. And when I have said this in the past, I have been accused of um, encouraging divorce, but that is not the case. I'm just being real because I know what living in a toxic relationship or living with someone that is toxic can lead to. And believe you me, guys, it can be very, very dangerous. If you continue to push it, the results could be fatal. I hate and I detest divorce with all my heart because I know the pain it causes. It is not anything I would wish upon my worst enemy. So don't you sit there and judge me and say that I am encouraging people to get divorced. That is not my aim at all. If anything, I want people to get healed and I want people to live in a healthy relationship, loving and understanding each other. That is what God loves as well and that is what I, I seek for, for everybody. Um, moving on, once you accept, you give yourself time you move out then you need to surround yourself with the right people you need to find positive people if you surround yourself with people that are negative they're not going to help you in any way if it means changing your friends then i would encourage you to do that change your friends and find a more positive um, group of people that are going to hold you and accept you for who you are in your in your face of life and the other thing is you have to guard your heart. If you don't guard your heart, you're going to sink into a depression. And you don't want to sink into a depression. And if you've got children, you you have to fight the battle of your children and fight your own battles as well, including fighting the battle of the society. 
judging you and stereotyping you. So you have a lot on your shoulders. But above all, be prayerful. There isn't anything I believe in as much as prayers. Prayers do work and prayers do wonders. So don't give up on God. It, regardless of what you have gone through or where you find yourself, God is love and God loves you and I love you. So that's it for today. I'll be posting more videos. Watch out, subscribe and uh, let's continue to encourage one another. Baraka. Mm.